All right, um, this is my second installment in the drop two voicings for the guitar. Uh, the first one was this voicing for F major seven and all their F seven, F minor seven. Uh, and now we're gonna do another one. Now this one, if, uh, if uh, we were to try to voice the chord, this F chord here like this, let's see. Uh, if we were to try to voice the chord like that on piano, that's quite easy. Uh, but on guitar, obviously, it's very difficult. I don't think I can get it. Um, and so what we do is we take that second note, this one here from the top, the A, and we knock it down an octave, and we end up there. We can take this this uh, E, and we can put it there, and we put this F down here, and we get this. Okay. Long story short. All right, so this is actually of the um, four major seventh chords on the top four strings. This is probably the most difficult one to grab. It's a beautiful one though. <coughs> Excuse me. And the, the this the the uh, root and seventh are right next to each other and a half step apart. So that's one of the things I love about major seventh chords is that when you just hear the root and the seventh, it's very dissonant. But when you hear the whole chord, it's not so dissonant. So, uh, so that's the major seven. So you're, you're uh, it's seventh fret on the fourth string, ninth fret on the fifth, the third string, second fret on the, I'm sorry, uh, sixth fret on the second string, and um, it's eighth fret on the first string. Okay. So and the the notes are A, E, F, and C. It's third, seventh, root, and fifth. So again. To make this a dominant seventh chord, we're going to flat the seventh. So the seventh is this note that's out here by itself, the, the pinky note, kind of uh, stuck out there. Unfortunately, we're flattening it, so we're going to make it a little smaller of a chord like this. So now there's F7. So we have F7, we have A, E flat, F, and C. So we're at the 7, 8, 6, 8 fret wise. Okay. And now to make this a minor seventh chord, uh, we flat the third. So we want now we want a flat third. So here's the third on the bottom right there. So we just go like that. And so now we're at six, eight, six, eight. And that's A flat, E flat, F, and C. Alright? It's a minor seventh. Alright. Let's go back to our major seventh. And we're gonna sharp the five. There's the fifth on top. Okay, so all all the altering we're gonna do sharp five and flat five wise is gonna be on the the top top string right there. Okay, so there's the five, that's a C. Here's C sharp and here's C flat. Okay, you could also think of it as B, but really prefer to think of it as C flat. That way you think of it as a flat five. Okay, so there's our uh, F, there's our F major seven. And then we just take that five, raise it. Here's F major seven with a sharp five. Here's F major seven with a flat five. Okay, go to F seven right here. Okay, neither one of those chords are particularly common. The, the, major seven with a sharp five and a flat five. However, if we go to F7 and we flat the five here, that's that's a pretty common chord. F7 flat five or F7 sharp five. That's a very common chord. And again, like on the other one, you can make it into an exercise just going back and forth between F7 sharp five, F7, F7 flat five, F7. And just give your fingers a chance to kind of get used to that transitions okay now minor seven okay there's our F minor seven right. remember that sharp five flat five F minor seven flat five is a very common chord sharp five not so much but it is a pretty chord um, okay so that's again nine chords here we have F major seven F major seven sharp five F major seven flat five F seven F seven sharp five F seven flat five Minor seven, F minor seven sharp five, F minor seven flat five. Okay, and uh, and so when we have nine chords times twelve positions, that's another hundred eight chords. So what's that? Hundred eight plus hundred eight is going to be two sixteen. You've got a lot of chords already to work on. So um, we're going to have exercises down the road, but right now we're just going to learn those. So work on those um, those shapes today. Try to get those under your fingers. Okay. God bless you. Have a good week, and I'll talk to you soon.